Stranger makes young student burst into tears at a car dealership. You usually don't expect much from strangers. You're just two people going out about your days, living your own lives, and interaction is usually kept at a minimum. Of course, those who don't flat out ignore you as you walk by usually want you to buy something or sign their petition. Nevertheless, sometimes strangers can be the kindest souls you would ever meet and they go beyond what you would ever expect from another person, as one young student can attest to. Kayla Cooper was studying nursing at San Diego College and the coursework was definitely tough, though she knew that it would provide her with the stability she had always craved in the long run and for the time being, she just had to push herself hard to make ends meet. For this reason, on top of her school, Kayla worked two part-time jobs as a cashier at 7-Eleven and as a parking lot attendant. In fact, one of the main reasons the parking lot company hired her was because she could get there in her own car. But that's also what put Kayla in a rather tight spot. Overworked and underappreciated, Kayla's stress only piled up even more when her rust bucket of a car finally broke down for good and Kayla now had to make an important purchase with no time to lose since her entire career and financial situation depended on her getting around on her own. Wary of getting ripped off and desperate to find a good deal, Kayla finally saw the advertisements of cars for sale at Auto City and El Cajon. Wary of getting ripped off, but also knowing that she needed to take every opportunity she could get, Kayla borrowed a car to make the journey, and the aspiring nurse started scanning the lot for a good deal. However, as Kayla passed price tag after price tag, she soon realized that the incredible bargains weren't so incredible as not one car came close to her budget. However, she had no idea that her search was being monitored by another person who would soon show her a much-needed act of kindness that would keep her life from falling apart. Family man and engineer Dan LaGuardia had also pulled into Auto City with some business of his own, though he wasn't in the same dire straits as Kayla was, and he didn't expect to be caught up in any life-changing event. In fact, Dan was just looking to make a few bucks with his 2005 Scion that his family no longer needed. He figured he'd look around some local dealerships and see what kind of price it could fetch and found a partner in Auto City. Ready to close the deal, the two men stepped into the sales office, but a nearby conversation distracted Dan from his paperwork. Kayla was seated at the desk over, and Dan saw that she was shaking and on the verge of tears. She had scoured the entire car lot and hadn't found a single vehicle that she could afford, which had led her to try and negotiate an arrangement with one of the salesmen to no avail. The salesman asked if Kayla had a family member or close friend who could perhaps help her with a down payment, but she simply shook her head sadly. Dan watched the entire scene play out and really wanted to help Kayla. He too remembered what it was like to be young and struggling, though Kayla was clearly alone in her case, but before he could act, Kayla had left the dealership in tears. Now, most people would probably leave it at that, but Dan wasn't like most people, and as he turned his attention back to his scion, he just couldn't bring himself to fill out the paperwork. Was it really worth making a little money just so some car dealer could jack up the price and sell it for a fortune? Dan always told his family, life has a way of making things even. And seeing Kayla rush out of the office, he realized that he had a perfect opportunity to live out his philosophy and asked the salesman if he could borrow their phone. Meanwhile, already a few miles away from Auto City and in despair about her future, Kayla nearly jumped as her phone rang to drag her out of her thoughts. The call was from the same dealership she had just left, and they asked her to come back to look at one more option. Kayla did worry that it would be a scam of some sort, but she had no choice and turned around to cautiously make her way back to the shop and it was there that she met Dan. Dan apologized for eavesdropping on her earlier conversation, but said he might have a solution to her problem. He pointed to his used Scion and then handed Kayla the car keys. 
for a moment. The nursing student was too dumbstruck to react as she just stared at the keys in her hands for a moment before turning to Dan and asking him how much he would sell the car for. However, Dan simply smiled at her and said he wouldn't accept a single dime for the Scion. It was Kayla's now. Kayla was overwhelmed with shock and gratefulness and she burst into tears for the second time that day, but for a happier reason than the first. She embraced Dan while thanking him profusely for his kindness and the man walked her to her new set of wheels and the entire auto city stopped to watch her take it for a spin. Kayla truly couldn't have asked for anything more. It's been the biggest blessing of my life. I hope and pray that someday I can do the same big gesture that he did, she said.